that Professor Kurana gave us the guidelines for the dissertation work. Oh yes, Nikhil. We are fortunate to be studying in the best of the environments and get to learn from the best teachers and educators. You know, Mother, I can't wait for my dissertation work. Uh -huh. So you, I have clearly decided that I will collect and analyze my own data. Angelina, would you like to help me with my work on air pollution and climate change? Oh yes, of course. I too am planning to work on the looming water crisis in India. I would love to present a case study on the Bengaluru's water crisis. Friends, since we have a long weekend, let's get started for the way on Captain New Delhi. Oh, great idea. But let's have a cup of tea before that. Yes, let's go. Ram Ram Babu. Ram Ram Babu. Yes, you are. You are good. Your tea has kept us going in all these years. How are you? Some days ago, the shop was closed. What happened? Was the weather not good? What can you tell, sir? The weather is bad. This change in the climate is really affecting my business. Due to this haze, nobody is venturing out in the mornings, and my business has had a hit. I pray to God that this air pollution be controlled. All the best, brother. I hope things will change for you. All the best. Come, come, children. Your bus is about to come. <coughs> you want some water? Are you fine? Sure. Why are you going to school if you are not well? Good morning in Delhi, beta. This is a common sight out here. You see, every morning the alarm rings, the tea boils, and as I look out of the window from my kitchen, I don't see any trees in the park. Rather, I don't see anything at all across the street because of the mist. I text my friend Meghna to tell her that our morning walks at Lodi Gardens are cancelled. Are you sending the kids to school today? She wants to know. Or are the schools closed suddenly? This has been our story over the last few months. I am sending them to school today only because they have a test. Raising children in poisonous air is worrisome. And if your child is asthmatic, you start obsessing about every breath. And soon, you find yourself imprisoning your child at home while you pray for a good strong wind. Thanks to the high amount of particulate matter, this little one can have an attack anytime. Inhalers have become a permanent part of his bag. Initially, we bought masks for ourselves and now we have air purifiers for our home. And do you know something? Doctors have posted on social media that our city has become unlivable. You know, some people in our apartment plan to move out of Delhi. But I don't want to leave my school, my house, my friends and go somewhere. Okay, okay children, come on, your bus is here. Okay auntie, please take care. Bye. Bye, Bye auntie. Friends, we need to meet Samir's aunt at the American Embassy. Why? Why do we have to meet his aunt? I have to deliver a parcel. Okay, come on, let's go. Hurry up. Soon, the students reached the American Embassy, where Miss Mira, who had arrived from New York the previous day, is at work. Hello, children. Hello, auntie. Here's your parcel. Thank you. How are you? You are fine, auntie. Hope you are doing fine in Delhi. Oh, it was always a pleasure for me to travel to New Delhi. But Delhi doesn't attract me anymore. I would like to complete my work at the earliest and just leave the city. Why do you want to leave Delhi, auntie? The poor air quality in Delhi is just not showing any sign of improvement. The Delhi chief minister himself called the city a gas chamber. The government has struggled of late to clean the air. Schools are closed, constructions banned and private cars are restricted from plying on certain days. Yes friends, agricultural struggle 
and even to millions of tons is burned by farmers in northern India every October. An estimated 35 million tons are set afire in Punjab and Haryana alone. Friends, experts say burning stubble accounts for anywhere between 12% to 60% of dairy air pollution. Hey friends, it's time we make a move. Remember, we have to catch a train to Punjab. We have fixed an appointment with the Sarpanj. Come on, let's go before it gets late. All the best children. Thank, Thank you, you auntie. Bye. Come on, friends, hurry up. After the conversation, the students decide to travel to Punjab and they reach a small village named